in navigation, a rum line, rum, or luxodrome is an arc crossing all meridians of longitude at the same angle, that is a path with constant bearing as measured relative to true or magnetic north. A rum line, is together with the Great Circle Arcade and an isolazimuthal, one of the three lines that can be drawn between any two points on the Earth's surface. Introduction the effect of following a rum line course on the surface of a globe was first discussed by the Portuguese mathematician Pedro Nunes in 1537, in his treatise in defense of the marine chart, with further mathematical development by Thomas Harriot in the 1590s. A rum line can be contrasted with a great circle, which is the path of shortest distance between two points on the surface of a sphere. On a great circle, the bearing to the destination point does not remain constant. If one were to drive a car along a great circle one would hold the steering wheel fixed, but to follow a rum line one would have to turn the wheel, turning it more sharply as the poles are approached. In other words, a great circle is locally straight with zero geodesic curvature, whereas a rum line has non-zero geodesic curvature. Meridians of longitude and parallels of latitude provide special cases of the rum line, where their angles of intersection are respectively 0 a degree and 90 a degree. On a north-south passage the rum line course coincides with a great circle, as it does on an east-west passage along the equator. On a Mercator projection map, a rum line is a straight line. A rum line can be drawn on such a map between any two points on Earth without going off the edge of the map. But theoretically a luxodrome can extend beyond the right edge of the map where it then continues at the left edge with the same slope. Rum lines which cut meridians at oblique angles are luxodromic curves which spiral towards the poles. On a Mercator projection the north and south poles occur at infinity and are therefore never shown. However the full luxodrome on an infinitely high map would consist of infinitely many line segments between the two edges. On a stereographic projection map. A luxodrome is an equiangular spiral whose center is the North Pole. All luxodromes spiral from one pole to the other. Near the poles, they are close to being logarithmic spirals, so they wind round each pole an infinite number of times but reach the pole in a finite distance. The pole-to-pole -pole length of a luxodrome is the length of the meridian divided by the cosine of the bearing away from true north. Luxodromes are not defined at the poles. Three views of a pole to pole luxodrome. Etymology and historical description The word luxodrome comes from Greek iii three quarters ioi loxa cubed s, oblique plus iii one quarter i idra cubed mos, running. The word rum may come from Spanish or Portuguese rumbo rumo and Greek a micron oa one quarter i squared i ira cubed mos, from a copyright min. The 1878 edition of the Globe Encyclopedia of Universal Information describes a luxodrome line as, luxodromic line is a curve which cuts every member of a system of lines of curvature of a given surface at the same angle. A ship sailing towards the same point of the compass describes such a line which cuts all the meridians at the same angle. In Mercator's projection the luxodromic lines are evidently straight. A misunderstanding could arise because the term a euro or a euro had no precise meaning when it came into use. It applied equally well to the windrows lines as it did to luxodromes because the term only applied a euro or a locally a euro and only meant whatever a sailor did in order to sail with constant bearing, with all the imprecision that that implies. Therefore a euro or a euro was applicable to the straight lines on portolans when portolans were in use as well as always applicable to straight lines on Mercator charts. For short distances Portal and a Euro or a Humza Euro do not meaningfully differ from Mercator rooms, but these days a Euro or a Euro is synonymous with the mathematically precise a Euro elixodrum a Euro because it has been made synonymous retrospectively. As Leo Bagro states, the word is wrongly applied to the sea carts of this period. Since a luxodrome gives an accurate course only when the chart is drawn on a suitable projection. Cartometric investigation has revealed that no projection was used in the early charts, for which we therefore retain the name Portolan. Mathematical definition For a sphere of radius 1, the azimuthal and polar angles and and Cartesian unit vectors, and can be used to write the radius vector as orthogonal unit vectors in the azimuthal and polar directions of the sphere can be written, which have the scalar products. 
for constant traces out a parallel of latitude, while for constant traces out a meridian of longitude. The unit vector has a constant angle with the unit vector for any and, since their scalar product is. A luxodrome is defined as a curve on the sphere that has a constant angle with all meridians of longitude, and therefore must be parallel to the unit vector. As a result, a differential length along the luxodrome will produce a differential displacement. With this relationship between and, the radius vector becomes a parametric function of one variable, tracing out the luxodrome on the sphere. As the latitude and increases without bound, circling the sphere endlessly in a spiral towards the pole. The quantity is the isometric latitude. In terms of the Goudermannian function, connection to the Mercator projection, let be the longitude of a point on the sphere, and its latitude. Then, if we define the map coordinates of the Mercator projection as a luxodrome with constant bearing from true north will be a straight line, since with a slope. Finding the luxodromes between two given points can be done graphically on a Mercator map, or by solving a nonlinear system of two equations in the two unknowns and there are infinitely many solutions. The shortest one is that which covers the actual longitude difference, that is does not make extra revolutions, and does not go the wrong way around. The distance between two points, measured along a luxodrome, is simply the absolute value of the secant of the bearing times the north-south distance. Application, its use in navigation is directly linked to the style, or projection of certain navigational maps. A rum line appears as a straight line on a Mercator projection map. The name is derived from Old French or Spanish respectively, rum, or rumbo, a line on the chart which intersects all meridians at the same angle. On a plane surface this would be the shortest distance between two points. Over the Earth's surface at low latitudes or over short distances it can be used for plotting the course of a vehicle, aircraft or ship. Over longer distances and or at higher latitudes the Great Circle route is significantly shorter than the rum line between the same two points. However the inconvenience of having to continuously change bearings while traveling a great circle route makes rum line navigation appealing in certain instances. The point can be illustrated with an east-west passage over 90 degrees of longitude along the equator, for which the great circle and rum line distances are the same at 5,400 nautical miles. At 20 degrees north the Great Circle distance is 4,997 miles while the rum line distance is 5,074 miles, about 1 or 1 half percent further. But at 60 degrees north the Great Circle distance is 2,485 miles while the rum line is 2,700 miles, a difference of 8 or 1 half percent. A more extreme case is the air route between New York and Hong Kong for which the rum line path is 9,700 nautical miles. The Great Circle route over the North Pole is 7,000 nautical miles, or five or one half hours less flying time at a typical cruising speed. Some old maps in the Mercator projection have grids composed of lines of latitude and longitude but also show rum lines which are oriented directly towards north, at a right angle from the north, or at some angle from the north which is some simple rational fraction of a right angle. These rum lines would be drawn so that they would converge at certain points of the map. Lines going in every direction would converge at each of these points. See compass rows. Such maps would necessarily have been in the Mercator projection therefore not all old maps would have been capable of showing rum line markings. The radial lines on a compass rows are also called rooms. The expression sailing on a rum was used in the 16th or Euro 19th centuries to indicate a particular compass heading. Early navigators in the time before the invention of the marine chronometer used rum line courses on long ocean passages, because the ship's latitude could be established accurately by sightings of the sun or stars but there was no accurate way to determine the longitude. The ship would sail north or south until the latitude of the destination was reached and the ship would then sail east or west along the rum line, maintaining a constant latitude and recording regular estimates of the distance sailed until evidence of land was sighted. Generalizations Equals on the Riemann sphere equals The surface of the Earth can be understood mathematically as a Riemann sphere, that is, as a projection of the sphere to the complex plane. In this case, 
Luxodromes can be understood as certain classes of Ma paragraph bias transformations. Equals spheroid equals, the formulation above can be easily extended to a spheroid. The course of the Rum line is found merely by using the ellipsoidal isometric latitude. Similarly distances are found by multiplying the ellipsoidal meridian arc length by the secant of the azimuth. See also, great circle, small circle, great ellipse, geodesics on an ellipsoid, rumblin network, isoazimuthal. References Further reading External links, constant headings and rum lines at math pages. Rum Solve, 1, a utility for ellipsoidal rum line calculations. Supplementary documentation. An online version of Rum Solve. Note, this article incorporates text from the 1878 edition of the Globe Encyclopedia of Universal Information, a work in the public domain.